Calcio mercato Milan guys, colpo numero 10 del Milan, Pioli is gonna have another striker, they make him happy, yes Porto, Milan have found an agreement for Madi, Medi, not Madi, Medi Taremi, uh, 15 million euros plus bonuses, the total amount will be about 18 million euros, they're uh, finalizing the last details, they're exchanging documents, he will be a striker for Milan next season. They already have the agreement with him, 2.83 uh, million euros a season and a very good colpo di mercato, guys. Why? Because Taremi, in the new context of this Milan, with uh, Giroud, Okafort, Leao, Chukwase, Pulisic, just makes this uh, reparto offensivo, this offensive package, that much better. That much better. We officially have a sub for each position, Okafor will be the sub for Leao. He won't be the prima punta anymore. Giroud will alternate with Taremi. Chukwaze will alternate with Pulisic. And we will have a great, great strike force. Now, the little asterisk is that we'll be missing Taremi for at least a month in January for the Asian Cup. He is participating with Iran. He is Iranian, part of the Iranian national team. 31 years old. Brings a wealth of international experience but has definitely exploded at Porto the last couple of seasons. Last year, guys, a fantastic season. 30 goals in like 51 games between um, the Portuguese League, the Champions League, and the Cups for uh, the Portuguese League, guys. Unbelievable. Five goals in seven games in the Champions League. 22 goals in the um, Portuguese League. So a very good season for him. And in the last three seasons, I think he's had like 18... 22, 22, or something like that. Anyways, very close to the 20 mark every season. And so very important. He is a uh, bigger type forward, can bring the team up. He's good technically. And he is going to be a very valid alternative to Giro. Now, that being said, with the, arri with the arrival of Taremi, Colombo will probably be on his way to Monza. I'm a bit disappointed, I gotta be honest. I wanted to give him a chance at Milan, but between Taremi and Colombo, guys, I don't think there's an actual debate here. I think Taremi, um, because of his experience, because of the way he's been scoring goals consistently in the last couple of seasons, is a definite upgrade. Uh, and like I said, in the context where now Milan has a sub for every single position, very, very good, guys. Very, very good. And like I said, Colombo probably replacing Petania at Monza on a loan. So he will get to play under uh, Palladino and Galliani. Let's hope he comes back even stronger. Had a great season with Lecce last year. And uh, guys, Milan looking good. Milan looking good. Had a great start to the season. On Friday, there is a Champions League draw. Hopefully, we won't get the group of that. But, guys, things are shaping up pretty well. Who knows that we might see a last colpo di mercato. There is rumors that Lyon is offering 13 million euros for Krunic. Will Milan say yes? Will they say no? It still remains to be seen. Who would they take if they sell him? I don't think Poli wants to let him go. Uh, but very interesting last couple of days of mercato. Unbelievable, guys. I am very excited about this Milan team. Like I said, um... I think Furlani, Maconda, and Jerry Cardinale went and figured out all the pieces that we needed. We said it for the longest time. We needed somebody on the right-hand side. They got Pulisic and Chukwase. We said we needed an alternative to Giroud. They get Taremi. Uh, we get rid of Rebic. We get Okafor to replace Leao. Guys, we have a beautiful strike force. And in the midfield, Reinders, Loftus-Cheek are quickly making everybody forget Tonali. Tonali, guys, when he left, everybody was crying. Maldini left, everybody cru crucifying. Crucifying Jerry Cardinale. And at the end, guys, this team is better than it was last year. Let me know what you think. Write in the comments. Like and subscribe. Guys, Milan. Chapeau. Very good.